William Emerson is something of an eccentric music lover. Those who know him call him Abu the flute maker. He's really more than that. Think about this instrument, a trash can as a stand-up bass harp. I saw this in my head before I made it. And I said, well, I could build a frame with a, with a trash can for a resonator and add uh, strings to play. I used nylon parachute cord or uh, <laughs> clothesline nylon cord for the uh, playing strings, and I tuned it with turnbuckles. For 42 years, those visions have literally filled his house. The pile of PVC and wood in the corner will one day become a musical instrument. We watched as he repaired one of the many instruments he's created. This is Abu's workshop. It's literally where the magic happens. Take, for instance, a coat hanger. Well, now it's a harp. Abu is something of a YouTube sensation, playing at a pair of farmer's markets in Baltimore. How does he make a living? These days, in addition to his many performances, he sells straw flutes. That wasn't always the case. He used to have a bustling business performing at schools, libraries, and for community groups. After 9-11, it means terrorists, evidently, because they stopped hiring me, bam, just like that. But he's looking for a renaissance and shared his hopes and dreams in part of a spoken word performance he did for us that he calls the treasure child. I may not be a millionaire, that's true, but still I earn a living doing what I love to do. Now I know I've held your ears for quite a while, but I had to tell the story of the blessed treasure child. In Baltimore, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.